So let me ask you a question. What is that? What is, what is a traditional woman look like? Traditional woman. What does that look like? Oh, let me ask you. No, no, no. Let's not stop there. Let's not stop there. Let's start a little bit above. What does a traditional man look like? A traditional man. Yeah. What What is the role of a traditional man? I would say. Be, uh, take care of his family. Take care of his family. Be the head. To be the head. Uh, to lead. To lead. Uh, know, provide. To provide. All that. Yeah. yeah. So you I, I, so you have an idea on what a traditional man right. looks like. Right. So now, what is a traditional woman supposed to look like? Bring it out. Uh, submit to everything that man. Do what? Submit. To submit to now. All praise to the Most High. Is that how our sisters are today? Why not? Because they got the wrong message. It's all misconstrued. They, they, they got the wrong they message. It's all misconstrued. Yes, you are absolutely right. So, just like I told the brother, right? You are, you are, you are uh, 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 elderly sister, right? So you got, you got, yeah, that's not old. But I, I'm, I'm saying elderly, you know, because you, you older than me. You see what I'm saying? So you, 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 uh, your age is superior to mine. You see what I'm saying? So that means what? That means you got kids that look up to you. That means you have little sisters that look up to you. That means you have nieces that look up to you. Right? So with that, with that mindset, shouldn't you be teaching them how to be traditional? Because what the world, what the world teaches them, they teach them how to be whole. Right. They teach them. They teach them twerk on Instagram. Right. They teach them twerk on Facebook. Right. They teach them uh, 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 how to be hoes and jump from ride to ride to ride to ride right. on, on social media. Bring they teaching them how. They teaching them how uh, uh, to strip. Right. They teaching them. They teaching them everything bad. Right. So you, as a as an elderly woman, you should be trying to teach them how to be traditional. Right. You see Bring what I'm out. saying? Does a traditional woman wear pants? Is it possible to be traditional and wear pants? I'm asking the question. Is it? No, it's not. Because exactly, because you gotta you gotta remember, everything is spiritual. Right. There's a spirit behind everything. The exactly. You already see the spirituality behind it. So what? So what should you teach? You should teach our younger sisters to do what? To be traditional and to do what? What's the traditional way? To wear a dress. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. And the man wear the pants. Exactly. Give me that. You hear? Oh, you there. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 4. Bring it out. The woman shall. The Lord is going to give you the traditional way. What is, what, is, what is the root word of traditional? Tradition. The Lord gave us our tradition. He gave us how we're supposed to look, walk, talk, and act. You understand? Right. Watch. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. Now, what's your name, sis? Siobhan. Siobhan. Sis. Sister Siobhan. When the Lord says, thou shalt, shall, right? Is that a suggestion or a commandment? It's a commandment. It's a commandment. Right. Remember that. Keep that on your mind. Because the law says his commandments is our tradition. Right. Let's see what God gave us. Come on. The woman shall not wear those pertain unto a man. It says the woman shall not. You absolutely shall not do what? Wear that which pertain unto a man. Now, what do our women wear today that pertain unto men? Pants, pants, pants. So, in order to teach, to, to, in order to teach your daughters, your nieces, your little sisters tradition, what you gotta be teaching them to do? Come, come up out of them pants. Right. Wear a dress. You are a princess. That's your tradition. Right. But no, we think twerk, twerking is our tradition. We think rap music is our Bring tradition. We think that's our culture. You know? We think TikTok is our tradition, our Bring culture. But God says, you're, as a woman, your tradition is to put on a dress and be submissive to your man. That's right. Read what you got. Neither shall a man put any woman's garment. You see that? It's our tradition that men do not dress like women. Right. Men do not act effeminate like right. women. Right. And when you, but when you do so, you put on an abominable watch. Read it. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You see that? God says all that do so, you put on an abominable spirit. Your spirit is abominable now. 
Now your spirit looked kind of disgusting because he never gave you that. He never gave you that. He never gave you that to keep as a tradition. He gave you, woman put on a dress, man you put on the pants, you, uh, uh, man you provide for your house, woman you submit in all things. Teach. That's the, and that's our tradition. What we out here doing, we're trying to, we trying to put, we trying to put our men back in order right. so you will fall in line. Bring it up. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it gotta be like that. Yeah. If this what we 44th is the result of it not being like that. It ain't nothing but crackheads over there and truck dealers. Right. Stockton Boulevard is why it look, it, it, it's the result of, if it, of it's us not being in order. You got hoes walking all up the street. And men and feminine just like it. Long nails, long, long nails and, and, and makeup on. Bring it out. What the hell is going on? It's a result of us not being in order. Right. Once we get ourselves in order, then God will look upon us as the people. Right. Idolatry, swimming in folly, it ain't making sense. Christ said he'll give you the kingdom. No, do not lie with mankind. Does that sound like a suggestion? Blitz. Second down, blitz. Third down, blitz. Shut them down, make them repent. City of angels, idolatry. Angels, but take protection around them. Most high gave the vision of the people. A cloud that we come from this picture. We wicked, we wicked, we wicked. Hey, 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 Take over the streets of LA if you ain't gonna repent. Ain't no need to praise it. The prayers of the sinner is abomination to the. Ain't you tired of uh, 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 people selling your, your, your sons weed? Do you smoke weed? No, I've been quit. You've been quit. Now you gotta take it to the next level. You have to teach this now. That's right. You have to, you have to be the living example. Do you believe in Christ? Yeah. You do? What does Christ look like? Everything. You see that? Then you don't believe in Christ. Because give me a uh, first first John chapter five. When you say that, that means you that you make God a lie and you're an unbeliever. Bring it up. If, if, if it's a record in the book, if it's a, if it's a record in this book, won't you think it'll be important? Right. You you got a criminal record? No. But if you have one, do you think would it matter if you went back to jail again? Matter? Yeah, what it matter? You go up before the court again, and you got a criminal record. Don't that intensify your 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 uh? Oh, yeah. It does, right? So it matters. Right. A record matters, right? Yeah. Let's go see the record. Come on. Bring it out. First John chapter five, verse ten. Yeah. Bring it out. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He said, when you believe on the Son of God, you have a witness in yourself. Come on. He that believeth not. God has made him a liar. He that believeth not God, you make him a liar. You see, you see, I just said that. The Bible just backed me up. If God looked like everybody and it didn't matter, did you make him a liar? And you're an unbeliever. Read. Because he believeth not the record. Because he don't what? He believeth not the record. Because we don't believe the record, come on. That God gave of his son. That God gave of his son. Now did God say in his records that he looked like everybody? No. No. I didn't mean look like everything. I mean he's my everything. Not look like everything. Well, so what does he look like? Because that's what I asked you. What he look like? Yeah. Is the truth. The truth. What, what the truth look like? The truth is. Um, what the? But tell me the truth. The truth is the commandment. But what is he? What is his physical? Is he white, black, Asian? What is he? To me, it doesn't matter. No, we're asking that. you basically does he have physical features and if so what do those physical features look like right that, that's what he's trying to ask you. because give me uh, what is it first job for yeah read that uh, first job for four and one first john chapter four verse one beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets are going out into the world. So I said, don't believe everybody who tell you about Jesus. Right. Because God ha has it recorded. 
what Jesus looked like, right. what his message was, right. what is what what he came to do, right. who he came to save. Right. So it's already recorded. That's why I said if they believe not the record, they're calling God a liar Bring because it it's recorded in the Bible. Right. Even what he looked like down to his feet is recorded in the Bible. Right. So if you believe that record, guess what? You got a chance. Bring it right? Up. So he don't just look like anybody or everybody or true for whatever that you said. So it, according to the Bible, what does Jesus physically look like? I'm asking. He brawn, the Bible, hair, wool. Black man, right? You got any children? Three. Three, right? What, how old is your youngest? Seventeen. Seventeen. If your seventeen-year-old came to you and said, "Mom, what did Jesus look like?" Okay, you say brown, wool, whatnot. Now, where can I go read that, Mama, for myself? What would you tell her? I'm saying, but where? What? what, what I, I want to go read it right quick. Where do I go read it at? Not quite sure, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. So, whenever you, if you're ever asked that question, you'll be equipped with the answer to give. Right? I'm asking you that so I can see if you have the answer so I can actually give it to you. Give me Revelation 1 uh, in, in 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. So it does matter what he looked like because God has to reveal him to us. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Which God gave to who? John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. Right. He said which God gave to who? Which God gave unto him, John the Revelator, to show unto his servants. Who are the servants of God? Is everybody a servant of God? Who are the servants? Right? Who are the servants? Do we know who the servants are? Brother, who's the servants of God? Okay, right on, right on. That's a good answer right there. That's a good answer. Show me, teach me. I'm here to learn. Who are the servants? You the same thing? Okay, give me, give me who the servants are. You, you know what I want? Read. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 55 For unto me the children of Israel are servants The children of Israel are the servants You read it, read what verse was that? Leviticus chapter 25 verse 55 Leviticus 25 and 55 So the children of Israel which is on this sign Are you so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans You are the servants of God Did it say everybody is the servants? No, it said Israel. You blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. So why is the church saying everybody? But they're reading out of the same Bible we read out of. Right. The Bible said the children of Israel are servants. Why did he have to go back and, 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 and reveal to us what Jesus looked like? Because this would happen to you. Because this would happen to you. Remember, in slavery, what didn't they allow us to do? Read or write. Why would they allow us to read? Because in reading, you'll get an understanding. They didn't want you to understand who you were. Because if you understand who you are, they wouldn't have been able to swim you. I use the word swim. They wouldn't be able to swim you with this. If you understood the Bible. Because you would know, you would understand this. Watch this. Now, Jeff, re read that verse one more time. Go back to, uh, now, who are the servants? Israel. Israel. The children of Israel, right? Israel. Now, we got an understanding there, right? Perfect understanding. Now, watch this. Now, go back to Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To show unto you blacks and Hispanics who would go through slavery, colonialization, that would wipe away your minds. Right? Come on, jump, uh, go ahead. These which must surely come to birth. Now jump down to verse 14 because I want to get to the point. We ain't going to read all the way through. You can read it yourself. We'll just jump to the points so you can have another clear understanding. Go ahead. Verse, four, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hands. Now Jesus Christ, his, the hair on his head and the hairs on his face, read. We're white. We're what color? We're white. What color are they? White. What color is his beard right there? White, right? No, white. Yeah. white. We're white like what? We're white like wool. Right. So they were white in color and wool in texture. What people have wool hair? What people have hair like wool? Nappy, kinky, sheep 
care. The Black people, the Man. children of Israel. Right? You see what I'm saying? So, so, so guess what? If we understood just that alone, could they swim us with this? No. But in every church, they have this image. But they'll say, well, God, look, it don't matter. But they're giving you an image. But they're telling you it don't matter. They slide you an image, and then slide you a, it don't matter. It don't make sense. Right? Now let's get some more of the description because there's more. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And he says, whereas a flame of fire. Because Jesus Christ drank wine. And wine makes the whites of your eyes red. Right. That's why his eyes was a flame of fire. He wasn't a cyclops shooting beams out of his eyes. He just drank wine because he had to deal with Israel all the time. Right? Go ahead. And his feet. Now his feet. Remember I said he'd give you a description all the way down to his feet. And his feet. Now let me ask y'all this. Did they wear... Nikes during the time of Jesus? No, they wore what? Sandals. Right, sandals. Right? Sun blaring on them. Right? And his feet? And his feet like unto fine brass. Feet as the color of fine brass, which is, what color is brass? Bronze or brown. Right? You pull out a penny, that's brown. Come on. As if it was so brown, as if they burned. And it, it was like they threw that penny in the oven and burned it. What color is Jesus Christ? He's a dark brown man. He 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 black black. He blurple. He Wesley Snipes black. He dark dark. Black man, right? So where the hell did this image come from? Because it didn't come from the Bible. Remember, it said, "Don't believe every spirit." You got to compare that spirit to what the Bible say. Did the Bible say this? Is this image in every church? Yes. What is God telling you? Come out of those churches because they're liars. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.